In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all humankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Throughout the history of humankind, there has been a need to push back the darkness. For millennia, torches, candles, and oil lamps were the only options for people to extend the daylight hours and manage their home and work after the sun had set. At the end of the 19th century, an unlikely marriage of cotton, bamboo, wood, potato starch, and zinc merged together to create a luminous, portable solution that didn't involve the risk of noxious gases and open flame. In 1899, inventor David Missel brought the world the first incandescent light bulb housed in a cardboard tube powered by the first dry cell battery. World, meet the flashlight. Sunset approached on January 12th, 2010, on the tropical island of Haiti. With just 38 minutes left of daylight, the impoverished tropical island was plunged into the terrible rumble of darkness when a 7.4 magnitude earthquake ruined the country, leaving 300,000 plus people dead. The magnitude of the quake was matched only by the magnitude of the darkness of the grief. In the darkness of the survivor camps, more darkness came in the form of theft and violence. Little could the world know that this darkness would birth light that would come in the form of two college students a world away dreaming about how they might help. You know, my mother used to say a long time ago, whenever there would be any really cat catastrophe that was on the, in the movies or, or on the air, she would say, always look for the helpers. There, were, there will always be helpers, because if you look for the helpers, you'll know that there's hope. Enter entrepreneurs Anna Stork and Andrea Shrestha, who saw the darkness of the earthquake in Haiti and other tragedies around the globe, and they realized that hundreds of thousands of people had no light, literally. They were a people in darkness. So the two ladies turned their architectural and design superpowers into compact, inflatable, solar-powered lanterns that could be deployed quickly into disaster areas, shining a light long after the sun went down, making tent cities and rescue operations safer places. Adam and Eve were at the epicenter of the earthquake that shook the human race from the relationship with their creator. The aftershocks of their sin continue to ripple through the world even today. But there was a promise, a promise made by God through his prophets to his people. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. And that promise gives us hope that even as the world shakes around us, there is a light. There is hope. That light is a person. That person is Jesus. And this light changes everything. Then Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. Those who follow me shall not walk in darkness, 
but have the light of life. Advent. Light.